Hi, I'm going to show you a demo of how you create and download Automated Clearinghouse, or ACH, and Single Euro Payments Area, or SEPA, payment files from JD Edwards Enterprise One using our product Lynx File Exchanger. Lynx File Exchanger is a component of Lynx Business Integrator, an Oracle validated product. Lynx File Exchanger allows you to upload and download files to and from Enterprise One. I will demonstrate the download feature of Lynx File Exchanger. In Enterprise One, I have opened the Work with Payment Groups application. The first step in standard AP payment process is to create a payment group. To do that, I'm going to submit the Create Payment Groups report. In the data selection, I have three AP voucher batches. Back in the Payment Groups application, you can see that the report has created two payment groups, one for our French bank, Banque de France, and one for our U.S. bank, Wells Fargo. The Banque de France payment control group has three payments, and the Wells Fargo payment control group has six payments. Let's take a look at the payment control options for these payment groups. You can see that there's nothing different about the two payment groups. They are set up with exactly the same options. The next step in the standard AP process is to write these payment groups. The write process assigns payment numbers and closes out the associated vouchers. I am following the standard JDE process to write these payments. You can see that these payment groups have been updated to update status, indicating that the payment group is ready to be updated to GL. The payment write process submits a custom report which is part of the Lynx File Exchanger application pack for bank tape. This report generates an XML file that includes all of the data for ACH and SEPA payments. The report also creates a record and text processor table. This record serves as a placeholder for users to download the ACH and or SEPA files. I am now going to download the ACH file for the Wells Fargo Bank. To do that, I select the payment group record and click the text process app button. This takes me to the text processor application. When I click download, this file is downloaded in the format for Wells Fargo. Now let's download the file for Banque de France. Following the same steps, Voila! I now have the file for Banque de France in SEPA format. Note that the process for generating both files was exactly the same from a user's standpoint. You can go back to the text processor application and re-download the file at any time, even after the payment control group has been updated to GL. Now that you've seen how easy it is to create ACH and SEPA files, Let's take a quick look at how this works behind the scenes. When I clicked Download, Enterprise One launched the download link for Lynx File Exchanger. The text processor batch number is passed to the link along with a secure token number. Lynx File Exchanger uses this information to execute a Lynx Business process and Lynx Business Integrator. This process transfers the XML file from your Enterprise One server and transforms it to the desired format. The transformation is accomplished using XML style sheet, a worldwide standard. To create a new format, you would just create a new style sheet. Although these steps are going on in the background, as I just demonstrated, the whole process is seamless to the user. The Bank Tape application pack for Lynx File Exchanger is fully integrated with JD Edwards Enterprise One. 
No localization ESUs are needed to create ACH or SEPA payment files. For SEPA payments, you have the flexibility to specify payment processing codes in either processing options or in the address book category codes of the payor and payee. For more information, please visit our website, alias.com. That's A-E-L-L-I-U-S dot com. Thank you for your time.